one of the last tricks that this Sinclair paper introduces is the global batch norm. And what that does is basically when you have a like very large distributed training uh, system, so they do 128 TPU cores. In the most general case, batch norm is done on each GPU, where like batch statistics are computed on a single GPU uh, and you divide, uh, sorry, you subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation over there. Uh, but what global batch norm does is you accumulate batch statistics in the whole uh, world or across all possible GPUs and you synchronize those values and basically, uh, yeah, do a batch norm for each image using those, like the global statistics. And what the authors of this paper say is that this is done to prevent a shortcut uh, because the positive pairs are always on the same GPU. So there, if you have a much smaller batch, their contribution to the batch statistics is much more like influential. If you do a global batch norm, their contribution diminishes by a lot. So if the network finds a shortcut, uh, the task becomes much easier to solve and hence the representations learned won't be that good. Since AM dim, I think there's uh, a lot of claims about the ability for batch norm to transmit statistics about the image, which will ruin the representations, right? So if for some, if in some way the model can kind of leak information that you know, this patch being from this image and so on through the batch statistics in batch norm, then it's possible that the training could collapse. And so that's a claim that the authors make in AMDIM, CPC, Simclear, and everywhere else as well. Um, although I, I guess I, I'll probably push back and say that there isn't anything concretely or uh, yeah, that I have seen that actually proves that that's the case. And in my own experiments, when I tried it with that batch norm, I didn't get um, horrible results either.